Hi there. Greetings descendants, Fayot here and in this video we're gonna go over module capacity, how you can enlarge it and how you can insert sockets with specific attributes. Moreover, we're going to explain how you can decrease the cost for capacity for every single module so you can put more stuff in and have it work optimally. Let's get to it. We will start with socket types since there is a small difference between descendant socket types and gun socket types. If you click on any mod, you will see that it is tied to a socket type. For example, this sharp precision shot says module socket type malachite you will need a malachite socket in your socket tab so when you slot in sharp precision shot it will cost you half the capacity it would normally cost in order to have these sockets here you have to keep the gun go to module additional settings assign module socket and then you have to fill Two criteria you have to have the crystallization catalyst and weapon proficiency at 40 so once you have weapon proficiency at 40 you choose the socket you want let's say we pick this we pick this placement and apply socket type that will pretty much reset the gun and apply this socket to the module slot for our descendants it's not proficiency anymore, but it's the descendant level. Pretty much the exact same thing. You click the socket type where you want it and apply socket with a long press. If I do that now, my Viesha will become level 1. I will use up the crystallization catalyst and she will have the modified slot here that will cost me less to socket stuff in. No thank you at the moment, but you get the gist of it. So in order to optimize module usage, you have to plan ahead. You have to know what kind of build you're going to go for and you have to reset the character, increasing specific types of module sockets to incorporate the modules that you want. If something is becoming very expensive to socket in, then you want to reapply tier adjustments and socket types in order to accommodate them. The only exception when it comes to capacity cost is your melee weapon. It can be a short sword, it can be kicks and punches, it can be knuckles. It states, attacks using short sword during sub attack, equipping sub attack module increases the max module capacity. So now my module capacity capacity is 77 if i take the sword sword out it's 70 that is because our sword sword gives us seven capacity as you can see here so it adds instead of detracting if i take out my cold snap i will lower my cost by 15 if i place it again i take an additional 15 points of capacity cost self-explanatory now to increase the overall capacity of the descendant you go to module additional settings max capacity cost up. Here I have already applied increased capacity, so I'm going to explain what's happening. You need an energy activator. You can research these, they take some hours to research, and then you have them available. This is the energy activator as it is shown in your inventory. Every gun and every descendant can accommodate usage of one energy activator. So if I go in any one of my guns, module additional settings max capacity cost up execute module it will eat up my energy activator take capacity to 70. of course this random gatling gun isn't worth spending something that costs half a million gold to have so i'm not gonna apply this but you understand where i'm coming from you use this on any piece of gear that you want to keep and optimize and it will increase your overall capacity so you can socket in more stuff everything else socket types resetting and so on and so forth can happen normally it will not affect the presence of the energy activator once you have used it it's an one and done deal there is another step to optimizing your capacity i'm gonna explain right now how you can upgrade mods to both improve their performance and have them cost less when you have to carry them on a piece of gear or the descendants themselves so this very populated room here in albion is cilian's chambers you talk to cilian and you can do various things here you can combine modules where you spend four modules to craft a random new one of the same quality dismantle modules to get back currency or enhance modules 
to improve your modules. This is what we want to do. When it comes to upgrading modules or enhancing them, you have to keep in mind a certain number of rules. First and foremost, improving a mod or enhancing it will always yield some beneficial result. It will improve the stats of the mod or the overall effectiveness. Second, if we're talking skill mods, these are the top ones right here that are tied to the descendants and are exclusive to each one of them. Enhancing them will drop their capacity cost. The second category I want to test here is the category tied to the sub attacks. For sub attacks like the sword sword, when you upgrade them, you increase the added capacity allowance that they offer you. So that's not a cost that will be deducted, it's more space for you to utilize. For gun modules, like strengthening first shot, for example, you can keep enhancing and they will keep improving, but your capacity cost will remain the same. And for basic modules, like the energy collection, as you improve it, stats will go up, but the cost will go up as well. So before you hit that enhance button here, if you have all the requirements covered, like the cost and mastery level, pay attention to the capacity cost and see what it does for you. It's very much possible that you will increase the capacity cost of one of your modules and instead of making your character stronger, you will actually have to take the thing off entirely because it will not be able to fit in your build. So it's sometimes good to make a trade between optimizing the effectiveness of the specific module and just keeping the module in at a level that will serve your purposes. So this is it, Descendant. Hope you found this useful. I intend to cover the first Descendant in great detail. So sub, like, hit the notification bell. And until next time, be well, stay frosty and always have perfection. Cheers!